Hello, Jungle viewers. This is Av Guardian welcoming you back to the Out of the Park Baseball 23 with the Seattle Mariners. <clears throat> we're coming off a bit of a rough season where, yes, we were the best team in Major League history and promptly got swept in the first round. But the thing is also what happened to the 2001 Mariners, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I guess life imitates art. We do have two new expansion teams coming, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays and the Arizona Diamondbacks. And we're gonna wanna get our protection list submitted here relatively soon. But first, let's talk about what we need to do to make our team better. Now, I've already lost Eric Hansen. Um, we took a lot of our money and we're using it to keep Kenny Lofton. Uh, which I think is a smart idea. It'll make our team better and more powerful. Uh, and I think that's going to be great. I don't have the money to bring back Eric Hansen too, though. Um, right now, I'm looking at $6 million for free agents. That's not very much. Um, so unfortunately, we can't have Hansen come back. I could bring back Robin Ventura. But to be honest with you... I kind of, I would kind of rather use Abraham Nunez and save some money at third base, and then hope to get some good stuff in free agency or in trade. I'm kind of bummed about losing Orlando Merced more actually because I think he was a really good fit. But regardless, um, we are going to have to make some changes to become a better team coming season so let's talk protection list who do we need to keep bonds obviously oh you know what i want to wait until after free agency is done um that's what i meant to do so we're gonna wait on that it's gonna be an interesting season uh coming up there's going to be a lot of transition, and I'm going to be really curious to see if we can manage to do much better than we did the previous season. For now, though, let us go ahead and sim forward a bit and see what happens. Um, Mickey Hatcher was offered even more money. 50k seems good. Lemus agrees. Really? Jeff Holly wants even more money than was offered? I'll give you 200 grand, but what you're really getting is a chance to learn baseball from a timeless immortal. Uh, I think that's more valuable than money, really. You should honestly pay me. Have you, though? 75k, and I won't go a penny higher. All right, so Lofton locks up. That's very good. I feel great about that. Um, I'm going to feel even better. Really, dude? Find 100 grand. But you better sign this time and stop using me as a way to earn more money from other people because that's not cool. You know what? Fuck you, Mickey Hatcher. No, I'm done. I'm not going to keep offering you even more money every season. That's redonkulous. Um, I like Mike Jorgensen quite a lot. Okay, you'll take an extension. That's great. Okay. Because I think he's got a lot of potential, and I don't want to lose him. Let's talk to hitting coaches. Uh, oh, get rid of the filter. I don't care about the filter right now.
Yeah, so you want, you're not as concerned about getting more money. I'll give you 70 grand just because I don't want to deal with this anymore. Ooh, someone got a gold glove. Who is it? Kenny Lofton and Robin Ventura. Nice. His third gold glove, and he's about to become a free agent. Mariana Rivera got reliever of the year. Excellent news. Uh, I guess I'm just going to settle for a bad coach because y'all keep wanting me to pay a lot more money. Steve Garvey seems like he'd make a good hit. coach for youngsters. Bonds got a silver slugger, as did Rafael Palmero. Excellent. Wait, I won 115 games and I didn't get manager of the year. Who the fuck did? I don't know if it shouldn't bother me, but it does. Really? Yes, the White Sox won 99 games. I won 115. Okay? 115. So give me my props, you miscreants. All right, free agency time. <gasps> Denny Nagel, giving a giant contract to Denny Nagel always works out. I'm joking. Uh, if you're a fan uh, of baseball, you likely remember when the the Rockies gave Denny Nagel a bunch of money after he came out of the after he came off the Reds, and he was not great at it. Um, okay. So I currently have no money. At all. Embarrassing, but true, I guess. Um, we're not going to lose money, so I don't have to change. Oh, we are going to lose money slightly. Interesting. Okay. How much are the ranges charging people? $7.40. Yeah, that's fair. Well, unless the owner increases our budget, we're going to have to use the draft to fill the rest of our team. Because I have no money. I don't even have a little bit of money. Yeah. How big is our payroll? It's the second biggest payroll in the majors. I guess I shouldn't be too unhappy. Because uh, I'm paying for great players. But that's all I'm doing. And we're going to have kind of a Stars and Scrubs kind of look here in the near future. I'm surprised Derek Lowe didn't get some votes for Rookie of the Year. He didn't even place in the top three. No, there we are. Any hoozle, um, we're going to go ahead now and jump. We're going to go and take care of our protection list now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and immediately add Bonds, Palmero, Lofton, and Valentin. Juan Guzman is coming off of one of the best years of his career. And I see no reason not to keep him. So I can add him. Definitely adding Derek Bell. Uh, 
If we leave Chris Nabholtz exposed, somebody's going to grab him, which will also free up a lot of money for us. I kind of like that idea. So I think I'm going to leave Nabholtz exposed. I think I'm also going to leave Dick Schofield eligible for someone else to grab. I just don't think he offers us very much. But I think he... No, he has been a good defensive shortstop. No, he's overpaid. I can't... I can't keep paying him for that much. I'm definitely going to keep Craxel too. I want to keep you, um, but honestly, most of the rest of these guys, I don't think are worth keeping. I'm going to keep Karkovich, but the rest of the team, yeah, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. Let's do it. And then I'm going to sim through to the first year draft. I'm hoping somebody takes both Nedholtz and Schofield. That'll frip $7 million. And I can maybe invest in a helpful player. All right, Buddy Bell should have made it last year. That's just how it ought to have been. Tony Armas is fine, but not so much that I'm going to automatically give him a Hall of Fame berth. I need to see a bit more from my players. Um, I'll vote Bob Coluccio. I don't have a problem with that. Terry Forster is thoroughly unremarkable. I like Bobby Gritch. I don't think it's going to matter, though. Uh, yes to Jim McAndrew. Yes to John Montefusco. I'll vote for Jim Nash one last time, but it's not going to matter. He's not going to make it. You're not a real reliever. You're a starter. That just happened to throw some relief innings here and there. I'm on to you, chap. I will definitely vote for Daryl Porter. I'll vote for Jerry Roos and Rick Roden, too. I will vote for Dick Ruthven. Hey! <laughs> I feel pretty good about this list. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. Other than Buddy Bell and maybe Daryl Porter, I don't know who makes it into the hall this season, though. We'll have to see, though. You would give me Bobby Bonilla. Uh, absolutely not. What on earth would convince you that I need a first baseman? I don't. You might be thinking, oh, he needs a third baseman, but I have Nunez. I'm happy to let Nunez be our third baseman for a season or two. Um, you're going to trade Kurt Wardle back to me. Is this Josh Booty, the quarterback? It might be. Uh, no, thank you. Jason Grimsley sucks. 
Whereas Tomas Perez is a little bit too important to me. I need Tomas Perez to see what we can get. No, we're going to be picking dead last. Um, there's nothing for that. We're picking 30th. The question becomes, are we going to get a great player at 30th? And I think we'll get a good player at 30th. I think great is probably asking for too much, though. Like, what position do we actually need help at? Third base are a little bit weak at, and I do need a new uh, DH, and a, ideally a new shortstop, too. Or starting pitcher. So I have lots and lots of needs. OSI thinks I'm going to with Benny Agbayani. My answer to that is a hearty no. Like, are there three starting pitchers? Like, I'd rather have a Scott Ellerton or even a Matt Clement or even an Orlando El Duque Hernandez or a Carl Pavano. These are all things that are much more valuable to me than Benny Agba fucking Yanni. Let's auto draft until we get to pick and see who is left. I could have my very own Scott Ellerton. I think Ellerton would be a fantastic addition to our roster. I see really no downside to taking him. Yes, Owen doesn't throw super hard. I get that part. But he's also big, and he might throw harder as his career progresses. Um, I think it's a no-brainer. I'm going to take Scott Ellerton. Uh, John the Llama Halama. John Halama does not throw over the top. He threw sidearm. Bruce Chen is a bit raw, but he is a possibility here. I do need a DH, and I do need a third baseman. So if I can get... Eh, Calvin Pickering's not terribly thrilling. I think I'm going to take Bruce Chen. Um, and just let him develop in the minors for a bit. Uh, I'll take Vladimir Nunez. Why not? Ryan Miner is a thoroughly inoffensive baseball player. And I'm just going to let my scouting director pick the rest of my draft class. Like, I got a fairly decent starting pitcher. Um, like, is he as good as Nabholtz or Hansen? No, but he's cheaper than both, and I have no problem with giving him an opportunity. We're going to smoke to the expansion draft. We're going to hit start and we're going to complete the whole thing. Okay, so they did take Nabholtz. Who else did we lose, if anybody? Really? Casey Canedale got taken, but not Dick Schofield. I don't love that, but I don't hate it either. Anyone rule five eligible? It's worth keeping. Not really. But losing Nabholtz does give us some money to make an impact signing, whether that's a DH or another starter or something. Uh, so let's not waste time, and I want to get a true sense of what I need. I'm going to promote Ellerton right to the bigs. 
as same with Abraham Nunez. I am going to need a fifth starter. Is that Steve Traxel? Maybe. But maybe we can do a little better than that. Let's go up to the Rule 5 and see if we can't grab some intriguing players there. The San Diego Mercury want you to be their pitching coach. What if I just gave you more money? How does that sound? You like money, right? Everybody likes money. Okay, this is merely a Pedro Martinez. It is not the Pedro Martinez. I was like, what the fuck? But no, that is that is nothing exceptional. So what do I want in this Rule 5 draft? I'd like to grab an outfielder. Because while I've got a really good starting outfield, I don't have much depth. So I think a good depth outfielder would be just what the doctor ordered. I don't think Trent Tubbard counts as good, but he does count as a baseball player. That's for sure. I mean, Scott Pose can at least draw lots of walks. I don't hate the idea of Gerald Williams, actually. As someone who can play a center and just give us a bit more depth. Okay, among all players here, is there anybody who's a fairly good hitter? It's pretty much Mike Marshall. Is as good as it gets. And I think I can probably do better. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to auto-complete the draft. And then we're going to talk to some free agents. Who is left? Uh, clear filter. So, what do I need? I need a DH of some caliber that doesn't cost too much money. And I need a starting pitcher. Let's start with the starting pitcher. I'm trying to get new pitchers that are of borderline competency. I don't hate the idea of actually bringing in Tommy Green. I think Tommy Green would be a good value. All right, let's look at all batters and we're gonna sort by batting ratings and I want I'm starting with contact because every contact is one of the hardest things to find. Orlando Merced only wants 2.6 million. And I really liked him. Let me do three years with a team option in year two. That's actually really strong if we can grab these two, and that's losing us some money to maybe make another move. But I think Orlando Merced fit really well on this team. 
Uh, he really did. And then I can bump Derek Bell to DH. Uh, Brett Saberhagen got a good deal from the Giants. How much did Eric Hansen end up earning? He got less than he wanted, but more than I could pay him. So, ah, oh, with the Phillies, treason, absolute unbridled treason. No, it's fine. All right, so Tommy Green, you're gonna get a chance to be a starting pitcher. Not I just had a chance. Um, I also kind of want to give Traxel a shot and then go from there. Now, do I get Orlando Merced? Really? Why is Buddy Bell not getting in? I find that utterly shocking that a third baseman with 3,000 hits is fighting this hard to make the Hall of Fame. Uh, yikes, Burt Bly Levin. Big yikes. I can't give up Karkovich right now. Okay, so we ended up keeping Merced, which I feel pretty happy about. And this gives me a really good defensive outfielder who also happens to be a very capable hitter. Um, yeah, I don't wish to alarm you, but this is a pretty solid lineup. It's got a little bit less pop than I'd like. Um, yes, I know, Rafael Palmero and Barry Bonds, amazing, but it's worth noting that beyond them, and to a lesser extent, Derek Bell and John Valentin, our best power sources are Orlando Merced, and I don't expect him to hit double-digit home runs. So that's a point worth keeping in mind. Uh, we may want to try to find a way to mitigate this in the future. Um, that's it for our free agency. Uh, unless there is $2 million Am I happy with my current bullpen? I'm not unhappy with my current bullpen. I think there's a lot of potential for growth here. If I could find like a better version of Gerald Williams, like a really talented outfielder that wouldn't cost me too much money. I'd be kind of okay with that, actually. And then I would just release Gerald Williams. Yeah, a guy like a Darren Lewis is actually really helpful. He's a decent hitter, got pretty good speed, and he plays a pretty good center field. I'd have very little problem assigning him as a reserve. No, Howard Johnson cannot play center. That's a lie. Then again, I could get a guy like Milt Collier, who's not, uh, admittedly, he's not nearly as good as, um, as, uh, as Darren Lewis, but he's a lot cheaper. Darren Lewis doesn't even want a major league deal. He just wants a chance to make a major league roster that I will offer. Uh, wow. Okay, dude. You've cut my budget? But why? Why would you cut my budget, dude?
Like, all right, dude. All right, so we did get Darren Lewis, which is good news. That's very good news, indeed. I do not want to release Derek Bell. I want to release Gerald Williams, please, so I can have Darren Lewis on the roster. What the little O means? Oh, maybe it's a minor league deal. Maybe. Yeah, Chen, if you can develop quickly, um, there's going to be a spot for you in the very near future. I don't love our depth. Um, that is a concern to me. I've got an awful lot of money invested in some incredibly talented players. Um, I don't hate Jim Neidlinger. I just don't think it's worth losing Felix Heredia. Like, I don't get two shits about Danny Grace, but I don't want to lose Jim Heidlinger. Or Neidlinger, rather. Uh, so I'm just gonna... If I drop Heredia, would you do a just for Graves? You want Graves and something? So that's a no from me, dog. Uh, we're gonna run. Oh, um, I definitely wanna invite Vladimir Nunez and Bruce Chen to spring training. I'll invite Mike Bush and Danny Graves and Graham Lloyd and even Ryan Miner, why not? We're gonna run a six man rotation here in spring training. I said six man rotation, please. Really, Tommy Green is the closer. I mean, he wouldn't be bad in that role, but I mean, not over Mariano Rivera, but whatever for right now. We'll figure out how this all works out. And then please do strict on occasion highest rested. And then make all the lineups, please. Really? Darren Lewis is not a better center fielder than Kenny Lofton. Okay, maybe he is, but that's not the point. I kind of guess I could. Who's being benched right now? Orlando Merced. Yeah, that's not going to fly, guys. I don't want to play... No, that's not going to work for me. I'll figure something out, but for right now, that doesn't work for me. Yeah, that's utterly silly. Um... Benching Orlando Merced just to play Darren Lewis is, it's ridiculous, is what it is. Derek Lowe getting better, Dick Schofield getting worse. I mean, I wasn't going to keep him anyway, so I don't really mind that, but I am concerned that I don't really have a ready replacement for shortstop yet. But we have a lot of money invested in some truly amazing players. And because of that, um, I don't have as much money to spend on depth as I might like. How much did Robin Ventura end up earning? He ended up getting $1.4 from the Angels. I probably would have brought him back if that's all he was asking for. But I didn't think to follow up on that, so I have no one to blame but myself. And maybe society. All right. So let's talk roster, yo. Um, I'm gonna send down Bush and Miner. 
which should give me 12 position plates. I really need 13. Which means one of Bush or Miner has to make the team. I think I'll pick Bush just because he does have a decent bit of pop. That gives me five outfielders and everything else looks good. Let's talk pitching staff though. Has Bruce Chen made any improvements in spring training? Very, very little. So I think Bruce Chen is going to start out the season in the minors. Danny Grays does nothing for me. Grand Lloyd does less than nothing. Nunez to the pen. I think I will let Tommy Green pitch out of the pen. I think Steve Traxel can be our fifth starter for one season, uh, which means Wayne Gomes is going to go to the minors. All right, so let's nuke all this. Five-man rotation and pitching rating. I'm going to give Juan Guzman the aces spot just because Guzman is somebody that I've come to trust. Then we're going to go for Ellerton. Lowe and Thompson are more or less the same pitcher. So I'm going to have Thompson pitch third, then Lowe, and then Stu Traxel gets the coveted fifth starter spot. Traxel's been somebody who probably needs an actual chance to show he can handle pitching in the majors regularly, and so I think giving him a starting role this season might help us get there. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the bullpen. Marion Rivera is my closer. Don't be stupid. I will make Tommy Green a stopper, though. I think his incredible stamina really puts him in a position where that would be a great fit for him. So it's the eighth inning and a close game. We can use Tommy Green a bit more. And this then unlocks the rest of the pitching staff to do what they want, which is going to be really helpful to me. Uh, now, I don't have a starter on the roster. Am I really going to have to have Bruce Chen just for the fact that he can start? Because otherwise I'm burying Tommy Green. And I don't want to do that. I want Tommy Green to get a chance to show what he can do. So that means I need another pitcher. How much money do I have left? I have about a million bucks. Really? This is all that's left. No. I'm going to check the waiver wire. So I'm actually going to leave a, uh, a bullpen spot open. Jay Powell is clearly the worst of the remaining pitchers. So, okay. I'm gonna go Felix Heredia. I'm gonna make you my lefty killer who occasionally gets in some middle relief work. And then we're gonna have three generic everyday middle relievers. And then we're gonna advance. Oh, then I need to set my lineup. Okay. Kenny Lofton just won a damn gold glove last season. And your solution is to make him a designated hitter. Uh, please don't be silly. It's not that difficult to not be silly. Oh, I see what's happening. This always happens. I need to kill the depth charts too. Uh, clear all and clear all lineups. Let's set this lineup first. So Lofton 100% leads off. I don't think there's any question of that. 
The real question is going to be who hits second. It's probably John Valentin. So Valentin hits second. Then Bonds, then Palmero. Then Derek Bell as our DH. Then Orlando Merced as our Orlando Merced. Then Abraham Nunez, Mike Matheny, and Schofield. Generate the depth chart, please. Game. And let me tell you to go fuck yourself with Darren Lewis. Darren Lewis is here as a backup. If you think he's playing more than that, you're sadly mistaken. Something will have to have gone very wrong indeed for me to play Derek Lu Darren Lewis uh, at center field. Um... I'd rather bench Merced than Bell. So you will play right field here. I'm going to copy and paste this over. I'm really hoping we can get a starting quality pitcher, like not a great one, obviously, but somebody off the waiver wire to fill in the last gap. For development, Mariana Rivera gets worse. Guzman gets a little better. Palmero is aging. I don't agree. I don't recall agreeing to that. I don't recall agreeing to that at all. Um, let's check out the other waiver wire. All pictures. Starter. I'm not taking Jamie Moore. I can't afford him. Let's do all pitchers, pitching ratings. Let's sort by stamina. Can I get greedy as someone who's not an incompetent pitcher? A guy like Tom Glavin could actually be helpful. But then there, no, John Doherty doesn't have the stamina that I need, that I require. Wow, you gave up on Sterling Hitchcock fast. Deservedly so. He looks like he's been a dumpster fire, but... Or there's Andy Hawkins. No, I'm going to pick Glavin. Uh, I'm going to pick Tom Glavin. He's got enough stuff uh, that I wouldn't be embarrassed to have him start if I needed to. Let's go ahead and sim a week. 
Oh, uh, Mike Bush makes the opening day roster. Congratulations, my friend. Really? I can't have Tom fucking Glavin. And now there's no pitchers left. That's some bullshit. I don't suppose Powell or Nunez has any stamina, do they? Look, I'm not looking for pitching brilliance. I'm looking for somebody who can throw, who can start in an emergency. And I guess I can't have that. So instead I'll take Jay Powell, um... And if somebody gets hurt, then I guess we call up Reese Chen. Okay. Vladimir Nunez adding some heat. Okay, Bruce Chen has already markedly improved his control. That's really important. I need him to keep working on it, though. Um, also, this is ridiculous, but whatever. I wish the game wouldn't do this. I wish it would just use the fucking ghost players. Instead of having him start every single game. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? No, I can't. I was gonna fill the minors with fictional players, but I haven't done that to this point. Um, I think we just kind of have to let it happen. I bet you would like to come back. Unless you want to take a substantial pay cut, the answer is no. Bonds and Ellerton are very good baseball players. Okay, Mike Matheny breaks his, his finger. Um, Pagnazzi literally can't play catcher, like at all. Oh my gosh. Um, give me Bob Guerin. And then I'm going to say him basically like two days. And I think he just signed. Yeah, he did. And you're going to go right to Seattle. And I think Karkovici has earned the right to be our starting catcher while Matheny's out. But yeah, I am not overwhelmingly thrilled with, the, with what's happening to Bruce Chen, basically. You know what? Is it happening to AI pitchers too? If it isn't, then it's clearly a problem in the way of rule is set or something. Let me take a look at, say, the Baltimore Orioles. And let me look at your AAA team. And let's look at your pitching stat. See, Masato Yoshii is not pitching every game for one inning. He's getting proper starts.
Yeah, this is actually just something with me specifically. Like, they're going to wreck him if this doesn't get fixed. Um, I really don't like how this is going to basically stop us from developing pictures. You know what we're going to do? I'm sorry if this seems kind of bullshit, but... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this rule. And we're going to block fictional player from reaching the makers and let's sim a couple of days and see what happens. Okay, that's things being incomplete. I kind of figured that's what would happen here. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick fill teams with fictional players. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's do it for triple A. And then I'm going to do double A fill... Single A and Rookie A. Because by now in Major League history, teams have full farm system, right? It's 1998. All right, this looks a lot better and more tolerable. You know, I am going to allow players to make, um, to make it to the majors. Why not? That's fine. And let's sim some more. I probably should have done that earlier, like a good 30 or so seasons ago, but I'm doing it now, so I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, Mendoza's getting slightly better. Karkovich is getting slightly worse. Mike Bush is slightly better. All right, it is now June the 1st. How is, are the Mariners doing? Not as well as I'd expect. Kenny Lofton is off to a very slow start, which doesn't fill me with joy. John Valentin's still real good, as are Bonds, Palmero, and Bell. Palmero's the weakest of the three. Um, he's still playing at a fairly high level, but his power seems to be greatly reduced. Um... Hopefully he can turn it on in the second half. Orlando Merced is doing fine. Um, I'd like a bit more out of him than we're getting, but I'm, I think the lineup is fine. I'm actually really impressed by the pitching staff. This I expected would be a real weakness for us, and instead it isn't. Uh, we actually have a pretty powerful pitching staff. Um... 
Tommy Green hasn't been pitching as well as I would have liked. Um, those walks have to come down. If they do, I think he'll be doing a great job for us. But yeah, a lot of this is actually very encouraging. And what I really enjoy, and I mean this totally non-ironically, is we have two players that are clearly playing below their potential. Meaning that they could flip the switch and be something truly special. Um, is Bruce Chen... Oh my god. But I guess it's too late to do anything more about that. Let's go and sim up to July. And then we'll have a think about what we can do to make this team a little bit better, potentially. Alright, so we get Mike Matheny back, which is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and release Bob Guerin. Unless he'll take a demotion, which he probably won't, but maybe he will. Oh, he did. Thank you, Mike. Or Bob, Steve, whatever your name is. Uh, we'll get Matheny back behind the plate, nice and early. And often. And let's go ahead and make sure that Karkovich gets his once a week start. Remember, you don't just want uh, catchers on if starter tired because they'll actually make them play a little bit too much and it increases the chances that they'll get hurt. Uh, that's why I'd like to do a once a week kind of thing. Uh, I'm glad you're happy, Darren Lewis. How much money do you want? Too goddamn much. I literally can't afford anything uh, because someone clearly has like a giant arbitration number. Who's got that giant arbitration number? Rivera's got a pretty hefty one. Really, team? You Did you literally cut half your stupid roster? Look, this is just going to keep happening. Um, I'll allow ghost players just because I don't really care. And I think ghost players work fine for non- player controlled rosters I think it's just the player controlled rosters that are problematic all right let's talk coaching we have content but that's all we are right now um I've got Mike Jorgensen waiting in the wings to be a major league hitting coach. He is temperamental, which is going to make people happy. So I think we're going to replace Bowens. Fitzmorris just pisses everybody off. So I think the only coach we're going to keep is Halicki. I think we're going to replace our pitching coach and our hitting coach. Let's get all the minor league coaches to re-sign, if they will. I don't 
don't really care about Gary Kolb. Guys, Kubishin here kind of sucks. I think we're going to let him walk and uh, we'll make some promotions. All right, so that's sorted. Let's go ahead and advance. Uh, who got all-star appearances? Scott Ellerton got one. Barry Bonds did. Derek Bell did. Rafael Palmero did not, but John Valentin did. So three hitters and a starting pitcher. I'm okay with that. I'm actually a little bit surprised, uh, in all honesty, that Palmero hasn't turned it up yet. And now they're as lofting, really. So hopefully they can both figure some shit out. Because I'd feel awfully glad if we could. I need a shortstop quite badly. Uh, Dick Schofield is not getting it done. Is there... A quality player on the market who plays shortstop. Look, I got like a Mike Benjamin just seems like a better choice he's as good defensively as dick schofield ever was and yeah hook me up st louis really i don't want to give you any of those players though What if I offered you Wayne Gomez? Oh, I see the problem. What if I asked you to eat his entire salary just so I can afford him? There we go. Yeah, you can have this guy. I'm just looking to see what people would give me for Dick Schofield. I don't hate the idea of Chris Ross, actually. Um... Let's do it. Like, I'm sorry the fans are sad about losing Dick Schofield, but maybe he should try sucking less. Because if I need somebody who can't hit a baseball, I might as well have somebody who's still a really good shortstop. So Mike Benjamin fills that role for us. And if he wants to basically make Dick Schofield money, that's fine. He's entitled to it if he wants it. Um, what else do we need? Is there anybody I'm not planning on re-signing that I'd like to trade and get something of value for? Sure. 
If I could get a decent young outfielder for Darren Lewis, I think I'd have to take it. Because I don't intend to bring him back. So if I could get a decent young outfielder. Uh, prospects and regulars only, please. I'd have to really seriously consider it. Hmm. I'm getting a lot more prospects than I thought I would. Uh, is there anybody in the green? Yes, Trot Nixon. Trot Nixon is a very talented young outfielder, uh, but he is also not what I'm looking for. I don't want somebody that's that advanced because they're going to want lots of playing time that I can't give them. Alex Ramirez, on the other hand, seems almost perfect as a utility guy. He's got a decent offensive skill set, although I don't like his low contact. Maybe I should keep looking. All right, I'm not going to waste my time with regulars. Only give me prospects, please. This will help me out a lot. Adrian Brown. Decent contact hitter, okay plate discipline, can handle most offensive positions reasonably well. I don't have a problem with Adrian Brown. That may be one answer to the question. I like Alex Ramirez a little bit better just because he's better defensively, but Adrian Brown might actually hit. Rafael Montemayor is fine, I guess. I think this is our winner. I think Mr. Orheon here. Oh, are you a created guy? Yeah, you are. I'm kind of down with that, though. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to block them from reaching the majors. Oh, I can't because I'm using ghost players. That was dumb. Anyway, let's go back to shopping in the play or I'm going to deliberately not trade for them. Uh, just because I think it's kind of baloney. Todd Dudwoody has a decent amount of pop. He's a pretty decent outfielder too. Jeff Abbott might be the best bat of the bunch, though. Because he's really solid. And he's also a competent defender. I think I'm going to take Jeff Abbott. I basically get a player that's as good as Darren Lewis, but for way cheaper. And I think that makes a ton of sense to me. That truly makes a ton of sense to me. And give me a depth chart here, too. There we go. Anybody else I'm not planning on keeping? Karkovich. And Green. Tommy Green has just flat out been a bust, but I think part of the problem is he's not being used in his best possible role. But yeah, everything he's throwing is a wasted inning. I'm just going to change his role and then let the rest of the bullpen sort itself out. Um, yeah. My buddy would have given me anything for Karkovich, I wonder. No, okay. Uh, let's go and go up to the trading deadline now.
I'm not going to put Matheny on the IL. I'm just going to let him stay on the roster and just have Karkovich just play for three straight weeks. I think that's fine. Any last second trades I want to make? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not going to trade anybody else. Any changes here? Rafael Pomero is heating up. Kenny Lofton isn't. Kenny Lofton has been ice cold all fucking season, and that's really disappointing to me. Like, what is your deal, dude? Like, his Babbitt isn't even that bad. He just sucks. Like, really bad. I can't figure it out. I don't know what it is about him that has just decided that hitting this season is optional. Because it isn't. Everyone else on the team, Mike freaking Nathaney can hit this season. Why can't you? I genuinely don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. Uh, fix your shit, dude. Fix it fast. Because you are now holding us back in a very real way. Uh, Abraham Munoz has been fine. Uh, I certainly don't think he's a long-term answer at third base, but I think he's doing well enough. Um, Palmero's getting closer to what I want from him. Derek Bell is a freaking bargain compared to other players on this team. Pitching looks okay. Um, is anyone pitching enough to stand out as a potential setup guy? I mean, Dennis Reyes has the strikeouts. And he still has another gear if he can ever figure out how to stop walking so many people. So I think he's got a lot of potential here. So I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, sim another month. And hopefully Lofton figures out his shit. Six hundred homers or Barry Bonds. Of course he did. Ron Karkovich cries a single tear, realizing he's going to have to catch like 800 days in a row. Player development, nothing too giant happening here. I'm really surprised how, I guess I'm not surprised at all, but John Valentin turning in a career year really makes up for Kenny Lofton playing quite poorly. Um, I love it. And let's just go ahead and keep going right up to the reg end of the regular season. Oh, we won 100 games again. 
101 in point of fact. All right, is there any weird playoff shit happening? Or can I have the damn playoff roster I want? Who are we leaving off? Who are we leaving off? We're leaving off the youngster. Okay, if they're on the day prior to roster expansion, okay. So this is actually something I need to figure out here. Um, that's on me. It's got to be the day before, not the day of roster expansion. Okay. Well, now I know for the future. Bruce Chen still started 58 games. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so let's get the playoff roster set up. Here's the thing. I don't know that there's any one starter I trust more than any other starter on this roster. I really don't. So I'm going to go ahead and bump Derek Lowe over Justin Thompson. But other than that, I'm just going to rock a five-man rotation. Like, we're kind of a rotation of nobodies, but it seems to work for us. It seems to be okay. And so I don't want to jinx that. I don't want to mess with that at all. Uh, oh, my shortstop is missing. <sighs> okay, fine. Tomas Perez, you're in. Yeah, I really got to read that shit more closely. That's entirely on me. Um, whoopsie daisy. I kind of think of being a rotation of nobodies, though. It's worked for us. Uh, hey, we got swept last year, so we won a playoff game. That's more than we got all of last year. And an extra innings, too. And that's a second game. Uh, Andy Pettit defeats us. That's... That happened. This also happened. Um... All right, it is game five time. Let me turn my headphones back on. The good news is Texas isn't nearly as bad as Philly is. If we can keep them contained, I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape here. And we are pitching Juan Guzman again. And I do think Guzman is better than Traxel, so I think this is a smart idea. Let's strike people out, Juan. Or ground ball. I'm okay with ground balls. I like ground balls. I don't like that. What the fuck, Juan Guzman? Really? Chris fucking Steins hits you out. Come on, Guzman. And you walk Todd Helton to face Vladimir Guerrero, who at least obligingly hits into a double play. Yes, but one solo homer is one solo homer too many. A nice hit by Kenny Lofton. Let's get some hit and run going on here. Try one more time. And it's a weak fly ball. I probably should just let him do his thing. I 
Alzus is a pretty good catcher, so I'm just going to let Bonds do whatever he wants. And a harmless fly ball out. That's what I need more of. I need strikeouts, and I need a lot of them. Well done, my friend. Strikes out the side. And that's a weak ground ball out. We've barely tested him. Um, but I've got a lot of decent contact guys. So all it's going to take is a couple good pieces of hitting. And we'll be right back in this. Um, let's have you take some pitches, Nunez. was right down the middle okay seriously knock it off dude yeah no nah, I've got a swing and he strikes out I mean I'm not surprised but I was just trying to burn some pitches and that just kind of died and that's another out wasn't really that good at defensive work. That's all right. A good play by Merced. And you put the leadoff hitter on for the guy who already hit a fucking home run off you. Well, at least that time you didn't hit a home run. All right, we have Tomas Perez up. That was like one tenth of a step, but okay. And Lofton beat it out. Very nice. Uh, go and try to steal second, my friend. Nice. Really, Valentin? That was like the one place you could have hit it. Oh my god. Oh, fuck you, Barry Bonds. You don't get to strike out in a pressure situation. I'm paying you way too much money to strike out for that shit. Okay, this is one thing I don't love. I get it. You're trying to animate, but there was no reason he couldn't have thrown out Guerrero there. Um, that just looks silly is what it looks like. I mean, I got my double play anyway, but. Come on, guys. I need somebody to take charge of this game. That helps. And that does not help as much. All right, come on, Abraham Nunez. Unlock your offensive potential. I, I don't know why I said anything. And right to Matheny. Right to Guerrero. Okay. <laughs> 
Come on, guys. Don't give up hits to the crappier hitters. Oh, my gosh. Nunez, you fucking idiot. And then we walk Brad Osmus, and now their leadoff hitter is up with only one out. And, of course, he gets the fattest, easiest pitch to hit, and he's going to score, like, three fucking runs. And the thing is, I don't have anybody else that's up. Oh, my gosh. I hate when this happens. I fucking hate it. All it takes is one. Minor screw up, and my team just comes unglued. I hate that so much. We have no resilience as a team. None. Uh, warm up green. Uh, uh, this postseason's over for us, barring some sort of miracle. Because the great hitters aren't hitting... And, yeah. That stupid fucking defensive play by Nunez. Just let all that happen. Oh my gosh! How does this keep fucking happening? How does a player of this caliber just decide, I'm going to take the day off? It's not like it's an elimination game or anything. If we keep stranding base runners, we have no chance of coming back in this game. Tommy Green had a good inning. And that's an out. And then Merced gets another base hit, which is lovely, and he's just going to get stranded because I can't get any clutch hitting this game. I mean, that's a base. That's fun, I guess. But if I can't make contact with the bat, then it doesn't matter. See, when they make a mistake, they get out of it. When we make a mistake, we're just trapped forever, and we can never play the game again. Your mom's a bit outside. I need something like a rally. That means, shockingly, two hits in a row. Or zero hits, that's fine too, because apparently Floyd fucking Yalmans is just the most amazing pitcher in human history. And like, stealing a base doesn't help at this point. I just need base runners, however I can get them. Come on, Bonds. Hey, we scored a run. I'll take it. And Bonds takes a walk. Can Scott Radinsky contain Rafael Palmero? I'm not sure, but I do know that I need to start warming up um, a new pitcher. And who's coming up? It's Jeffrey Steins and Helton. Let's warm up Denise Reyes. Palmero! Oh my gosh!
Yeah, let's put Reyes in right now. Great, a mistake. The one thing this team does amazing at. Uh, don't groove one to Vlad Guerrero, please. Like, if he wants to hit something weak, that's fine, but don't groove it to him. Alright, come on, team. Nope. We can't have nice things with the Mariners. And we just look like garbage at this point. When of all people, Abraham Nunez just got a hit. Uh, was that going to mean anything? I'm not sure. Nope. I'll warm up Mariano Rivera. I don't think it's going to matter, though. I have no... There's no point in bringing him in if we're not anywhere near a lead. Like, as much as I don't want this to get any worse, like, it's already bad. Because a rookie made a huge mistake and the team just couldn't capitalize. They couldn't recover from it. And so we basically got screwed. Uh, 10 hits and 2 runs is ridiculous. We should easily have 5 or 6 runs. I mean, hey, maybe Tomas Perez getting a leadoff double will change things for us. Alright, come on, Kenny. I'll take a walk. Come on, Valentin. All right. Bonds, do you want to be a fucking hero? I think you do. Hey, you know what? You drove in a run. I'll take that. Palmero, now you can be the hero. Bases loaded for Derek Bell. Come on, buddy. Do something amazing. Oh, my God. Come on, Merced. They walked in a run. Uh, I'll take it. And it comes back to Abraham Nunez. Um, this is the most important bat of the entire season. And I don't have anybody I like better than Nunez. <sighs> I'm not even going to watch. I did watch, and I'm glad I did. Uh, go for it. Hey, a walk-off double from Abraham Nunez is exactly how I expected this game would end. Isn't it how you expected the game to end? Oh my gosh. Um... Wow. Holy fucking smokes. Um. And Scott Ellerton gets exploded by Carl Everett. And then they do it again. Uh, we do get a first win, and then Thompson lights us up, and we win one game in the ALCS. Uh, we quit hitting. We just, we just stopped. Palmero vanished. He was a non-factor, as was Kenny Lofton, really. But this happens every season at this point, and I don't know what to do to fix it. 
I have a lot of money tied up in some really amazing players that just, when the pressure hits, they just like, nope, I'm out. Thanks, guys. Um, like, it literally took a bloody miracle for us to even make it to the AL ALCS, so whatever. But also, huh? How are we that incompetent? Like, seriously. Um, Orlando Merced was really not that great. I'm going to go ahead and opt out of his contract. I'm going to avoid it. Um, my Quayar retired, whatever. I bet the owner is probably pissed at me. So, I mean, can we consider the season a failure? I think we can. That's two seasons in a row of won 100-plus games and then did nothing in the playoffs. Yes, we won a playoff round this time. Amazing. And it shouldn't have been that hard. It should not have been anywhere near that hard. Uh, maybe a new pitching and hitting coach will fix it. Probably not, but who knows at this point. Uh, so first things first, Mike Jorgensen, you get the Major League Hitting Coach job. And then I need somebody controlling to be our pitching coach. I mean, normal is good, too. Let's go ahead and promote uh, Jim Darrington as our pitching coach. Okay. Um, I have a lot of mediocre coaches. Maury Stevens, I'm going to... Unless Bob Hefner is quite good. Bob Hefner is also okay. I'm going to promote you to AAA pitching coach. And I'm going to promote Stevens to AA pitching coach. Wait, Stevens doesn't want to be a pitching coach anymore? No, there he goes. There he goes. Uh, let's get some really good hitting coaches if we can, like Lenny Randell. And let's try to grab Ed Spezio too. And I need a new A-ball pitching coach. Sure, let's go for the gold. And let's get Mike Davison if we can. All right. So let's talk about what actually happened this season. Barry Bonds somehow didn't lead the league in war. I don't know how he didn't. But he did his part, at least in the major, regular season. Um, so, I mean, I have really nothing more to ask from Barry Bonds, other than to maybe heat up a bit more in the playoffs, but that's fine. John Valentin. Holy shit. I had no idea he was capable of hitting 30 home runs. I had no clue. Uh, he was enormous this season. Truly spectacular. I'm glad he played so well for us. Derek Bell absolutely crushed it. He apparently doesn't mind being a DH, and he was absolutely tremendous. Rafael Palmero was the first disappointment this season. For whatever reason, Palmero just wasn't his old self. And what he was was still good. Like, I don't want to make it seem like he's a fucking scrub. He wasn't. But he vanished in the playoffs once again. Um, other than that home run in game five of the ALDS. And I, for the amount of money I'm paying him, I don't need pretty good. I need sensational. 
Abraham Nunez had a perfectly fine uh, rookie season. I'd like to get a bit more next season, but I'm not that annoyed by this. Other than that gigantic fuck up in uh, in earlier on in that, which he ended up making up for. Um, he basically carried us there. Mike Bethany just needs to play. Uh, if he had played more games, he think it would have been a better team because holy shit was Ron Karkovici awful. Uh, we got to get a better backup catcher because, oh my lord, he is not it. Let's talk about the elephant in the fucking room. Let's talk about Kenny Lofton vanishing the entire season. This is not why I'm paying you this much money. Uh, this is completely and utterly unacceptable in every sense of the word. Figure it out. Just figure it out. Because this can't happen again. Being 20% worse than a league average is not what you're getting paid for. So figure it out real quick or we're going to have a problem. Orlando Merced was terrible. While the top of the top were all really productive this season... When it came right down to it, we really struggled to apply that extra bit of pressure. Um, and guys like Merced and Lofton falling flat on their faces is not a great look. Do I want to bring back Mike Benjamin? I don't think so. I can find someone just like him without spending as much money. Let's talk pitching. Uh... Look, the five nobodies had a pretty great regular season, right? Derek Lowe, Scott Ellerton, Juan Guzman, Justin Thompson, Steve Traxel. Derek Lowe was the best of the bunch. Um, not bad for a second-year pitcher. He keeps the ball down, and with a great defense, that's all you really need. But all of our starters were really good this season. If Scott Ellerton doesn't win Rookie of the Year, I will be somewhat annoyed. Um, yeah, we had pretty good pitching, and then Tommy Green was a fuck-up. And Felix Hardy just didn't pitch, so I don't even know if he's good or not. Um, Jay Powell was like, whatever. We don't have an ace. We have a whole bunch of number two pitchers. We don't have a true ace. If we got one, I think that would be great, but I want to also highlight something else. We have a very young rotation. Like, I have one pitcher over 30 now, which is Juan Guzman. And he is what he is at this point. He's a good pitcher that gets lots of strikeouts and also walks every other hitter. Would I mind moving on from him? I wouldn't, but I also don't know how. I don't know how. I mean, a lot of things had to have gone right or we wouldn't have won 101 games. But two players who were counting on decent production from, we got nothing out of. Uh, and Orlando Merced and Kenny Lofton. Lofton is back next season. Win, lose, or draw. I'm not going to do much better than Lofton. It is what it is. Fine. We've got to get improvement from somewhere. Especially when we're not going to be able to participate in free agency very much. Um... I'm going to go ahead and give Justin Thompson an extension. That seems like a good idea. Steve Traxel, more than earned 500 grand. Uh, easy, easy choice to bring him back for another year. Corey Bailey wants 390 grand. I say give it to him. Felix Heredia, it's a pretty minor raise. I don't see a huge value in not going for it. Jay Powell, again, a fairly modest raise. My owner Rivera wants an even bigger salary, and I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. 
But it will get to the point where he is not sustainable anymore. Where I can't afford to pay him this much money. Uh, but so far today is not that day. And I have no money, so I can't bring back any free agents. Uh, that is not an option for me. So we're going to have to get better in the draft and maybe a smart trade or two. Is there a player I could trade and be assured of a reasonably good return? How did Bruce Chen do? Oh, you're not a reliever. You're a starter. Thanks, though. Chen is okay. I mean, the weird pitch him every day thing kind of burnt him out. I'm hopeful that all these rookies will help that from happening again. Um... I have a lot of money tied up in Rafael Palmero, um, but even more in Kenny Lofton. I can't overpay for mediocrity. Um, I don't have that flexibility with the current roster that I have. So I'm going to need you to figure out your shit and play way better next season, or we're going to have a lot of problems. A ton of problems. But yeah, it's going to have to be the Rule 5 draft, and it's going to have to be some well-timed other, uh, well other decisions to get us where we need to be. I'll be curious to hear what you all think in the comments. Now that I create these fictional players, should I consider them part of my team, or do you think that's too gamey? And I should just ignore them, pretend they aren't there. Because uh, I'll be damned, sh I'll, I, I will be completely honest with you, Rodolfo Andrade would be my starting shortstop next season. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and I will, I will make my decision based on that. I mean, I should have done it earlier. Basically, as soon as real minor league systems started, like in the 50s or 60s, I should have done that. Um, because I'm basically fighting with hand, one hand tied behind my back. Because, for whatever reason, um, the game doesn't like to use the ghost players correctly. And this was never a problem in previous historical sins. So I don't know what's happened, but I think there's a lot of players who would have a starting role on next year's Mariners if I chose to use... Um, if I chose to use these new players, I've been gifted. So let me know what you think in the comments. So I'm curious to see what you all think. Uh, but until next time, this has been Avgardian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.